Hi everyone, I'm Jo Brown from Jo's Transforming Lives and I am here today with Sally and we are going to be talking about the Challenge Yourself Retreat. Now the Challenge Yourself Retreat is a retreat for you to get away for the weekend and what you receive when you attend the Challenge Yourself Retreat is eight coaching sessions. So you actually receive two coaching sessions before the weekend four coaching sessions during the weekend and two coaching sessions after the weekend and then also we have a abseil and a cave-in experience and we also do an evening walk and Sally's going to be telling you about her experience of what she got from the weekend so hi Sally are you all right lovey hi uh, yeah I'm very good thank you how are you? you I'm fine thank you have you had a good week I have had a brilliant week, been good. really good. Good. Are you still glowing? Very much, yeah. Yeah. So I want to know, what was the reason you booked onto the Challenge Yourself Retreat, first of all? Um, well, since before Christmas, I've been having like a really bad time, which, you know, some parts of it. <sighs> and it got to a point where I needed to do something just to be like a massive kick up ass, or I didn't want to stay in that place for any longer than what, well, when it were necessary. I don't know what word is. So yeah, so I booked on, paid you, and then I know it, it came around, didn't it, right quick? It did, it came, it came around <laughs> really quick, quite really quick, yeah. it was once it. So just to get yourself, get, get yourself sorted and get, get make that mega shift what you, you knew you needed. To... Yeah, yeah, I was having real trouble letting go of a lot of emotional stuff. Yeah. You know, and he, I just felt like I was stuck and I didn't know how to get out of it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So when you came for the weekend, what difference was you hoping would happen in your life as a result of attending the Challenge Yourself Retreat with the coaching and with the activity? In a way, I didn't know what to expect. Um, no. I've done an abseil before, so I knew I could do that, but I didn't know... Like last time it was from the side of a building, this time it'd be more in wild, so I didn't know how that was going to be. I've never been caving before. I weren't really looking forward to that. But just like anything would have been better than nothing at that point, because I was like in a really low point. Um, it was just like, well, I might as well give it a go. Cause it can't get any worse, so I might as well try and do something to make it better. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, and it was an inter it was interesting, wasn't it? It was. It was brilliant. Really yeah. good. So during the weekend of the Challenge Yourself Retreat, <laughs> what was your biggest insight? Um, I finally got to see who I was, which is like a weird statement to make. But I think once you bog down with kids and houses and work, you think you're a certain way. Or like even just all your life, people think that you're a certain way and you end up stuck in that role. And this weekend, like I saw myself how I actually am, not what people thought I should be. And that was like just really huge for me. I didn't realise just how much I've been bottling up. And now I, just, I do feel almost like a brand new person in a way. Yeah. yeah, it was it was quite an emotional exercise that one. Mm, yeah, very yeah. much. Yeah, and it's like I can't believe I've been walking around like almost blind most of my life. Just mm. yeah. 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 Thank you, lover. So during the challenge yourself retreat, what was your proudest moment? Getting out the cave. So, Getting out the cave. Out the How cave. You... Yeah. I loved being in the cave. Absolutely loved it, loved it, loved it. But that getting out because I'm not the skinniest person it will. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was physical, but it was like, no, this is what I'm doing. And just like my mind was just completely clear and I was just chuffed to bits. I've got biggest bills on my leg, as you've seen. Yeah. And it was just... It was really, really empowering and just yeah. like my confidence like boosted up here and it was just like, I can do anything I want, anything. Yeah. Like, nah, 
So I'd like, I'd want to ask you a question because you've just emphasised about your size, okay? And oh, yeah, yeah. we have ladies who uh, would love to attend, okay? Mm. And they say they don't like being in caves because of the confined space because it's really small and they're going to be all crunched up. No, you're not. And the other one is because they are big framed, yeah? Yep. Think that there's not going to be much room down there for them to move around mm. can you tell them a little bit more about what you found when you got down there um, well they're not going to make you go through a hole that you're going to get stuck in because that'd be stupid and don't ever let your size hold you back and if somebody says you're too big to do that you need to tell them to go fuck themselves because you can <laughs> do what you want <laughs> <laughs> why are you letting someone else's opinion stop you from doing something yeah. brilliant yeah. yeah this is the you know why should you miss out just because you've got yeah. a decent pair of tits yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> the thing is i think sometimes I, I, when i talk to people about caving they go oh i couldn't do that it's such you know being in su it's such a small space or being mm -hmm. you know, you know, being underground and things like that. But when you actually got underground, because I know we all were a bit apprehensive about going down. Yeah. But because as Adam showed us on the Saturday, didn't it, where we were coming out. Yeah. Yeah. And that, because we were supposed to be coming out of that one, and then he changed the plans for us to go down there as well. And I think we were all apprehensive about it. Mm. But when we got down there, when you actually, because we got, when we came down to the bottom of it, what did you feel? How, how did you feel? Well, there's a lot more space down there than what you think. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the skinny bitches went, <laughs> so did squeeze through a smaller hole that I just weren't going to fit through. But I just went a different way and it was real. Yeah. So, you know, got, a cracky, got a cracky picture of that one, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, but you just got to find your own way yeah. and you'll do well, it. That, and, um, and that's... Sorry, love it. Oh. <laughs> and I think, in a weird way, when we were going, you know, going down, it was a squeeze. Mm -hmm. But I think, in a way, because I was bigger than what you two were, that mm -hmm. actually helped because I could wedge myself better. So mm -hmm. I didn't come tumbling down. I kind yeah. of just squeezed through. Squeezed yeah. through. Yeah. And oh, you're more, adding. They're covered in, 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 a more control, in a more controlled way. Yeah. 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 But it was, like I said, it was, and it all the bits were di challenging in different ways for different people. Mm, yeah. Like, but it's, like I said, it was interesting. And like I said, people think that it's really small, but actually. The, no, there are loads of them. Yeah. Loads of yeah. Like, you I have think, to bend, bend over sometimes and well, you just get on your knees and crawl through. Like if yeah. you can crawl under a kitchen table, picking your kids' shoes up, you can go through a cave. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, the next one, what advice would you give to anyone who's actually thinking, I really want to attend, but they're a little bit apprehensive? Don't overthink it, just book it and go. There's no stopping you from doing it and it'll be the best thing you've ever done. And then you'll sit here a week later talking to Joe and you'll be like, I want to go again tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. What finishing off from the retreat, where do you see yourself going in the future now? So from from where you was to where you are going to go now, where, what did, what how was the retreat changed your outlook and what um, it showed me that I'm that I can do way more than what I thought I could. Like if you'd said last week I want to go and down a cave, I only did it because it was part of experience. But now I'm already planning me and kids going down a cave and I'm going to keep going down them until I'm really good at it. So that's how much I loved it. And we're down there, what, an hour and a half? Yeah. Or whatever. And then I'm not scared of abseiling and I don't think I'll ever be a big fan. No. But I'm not as scared of it. And it's like, well, if I can do that, what else can I do? Yeah. So I'm following all these pages on Facebook. Like I might have a go at that. I might have a go at that because... Mm. Because now I know I can do a lot more than what I give myself credit for. Yeah. Not just a go. You never know. You might find your new passion. That's it. That's mm. it. No, and I really would recommend anybody who is having that apprehension, just go for it because it is. It. Yeah. it is. It is fear. Do you get? Do you feel that you get 
the support required during yeah. the street. Yeah, you feel completely safe. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I don't think the div I don't think you and Adam would have asked me to do something if you didn't think I weren't capable of doing it. But you, you already know yourself that you can do it, so it doesn't matter. You'll just know that you'll be fine. When, but you need to be in that environment to know that you're going to be fine. Yeah. If yeah. you sit up, sit in, think about it, you'll not want to do it. But once you're out there, you'll be like, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, because the thing is, it's when you are actually sat at home on the settee thinking, oh, I couldn't do that. Mm. How do you know? Yeah, you don't know. So. You don't you don't Stop know. Stop lying. Get like books. Just, just go for it. <laughs> I'm just telling you, mate, we're going to have so much fun this year. Just yeah. saying everything. It's yeah. like they were at World, and now this world has just got huge for me. Yeah. Absolutely. Because All that's out there, I can do it if I want to. Yeah, because that's you've gone into... Confident, I feel now. Because you've gone into your stretch zone. Mm, yeah. Actually, you've, you've actually smashed your comfort zone. Definitely. And you're yeah. in your stretch zone. And I love it. Yeah. I really do love it. And this is what the Challenge Yourself Retreat is all about. <clears throat> about encouraging ladies to get outside the comfort zone and get into that stretch zone and see how capable you are of achieving. So please come along and yeah. this Challenge Yourself Retreat because it's here. This is after, oh, yeah, end away, yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, if I can do it, it was just like a total sloth. So <laughs> like I'm in my blanket, I like my comfy things. Yeah, I just had a clean but, bag. But you enjoyed <laughs> you enjoyed you enjoyed your dirty face, though, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah you enjoyed getting dirty, even yeah. if, even the the bang on your shin you got with it didn't you and dealt with it it was painful yeah, it was very yeah still painful now <laughs> but, but that's but that's part of it i i honestly think that that's part of it yeah it's yeah about, it's about challenging yourself and realizing that you can do those things and you can actually some yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. so thank